repeated shoulder width, knees gently bent. Just find a nice comfortable standing posture. Bring mind back inside. It's from the outside world, from your morning's activities, gently drawing back in through the third eye into the center of the brain. In the center of the brain, locating middle dantian, just feeling your way into the chest, locating, feeling your way into the belly. Mind inside. Return your mind from the morning's activities. Just draw yourself back. Just give this an hour to yourself. From the very core of your belly, gently turn and see how the back feels this morning. Don't need to rush into anything. Just go nice and easy. And then we can release. And allow the body to gently tap. Keep the mind located deep inside, lower down to you. I find it interesting that in Western psychology, there are terms like disassociation and depersonalization, which are pathologies of the mind, things that have gone wrong. Whereas in Chinese medicine and in Buddhism, that's what we're seeking. <laughs> Oh, so very funny, the juxtaposition between our worlds. So depersonalization or disassociation, it's kind of disassociation with the parts of you that project themselves out into this 3D game. So you project out your physicality, and that's all about chi. And then we have the e one t which is the consciousness part of us, which also projects out various, um, well, your emotions and your patterns and your um, masks, if you like. Uh, the illusion of who you are. 
But behind it all is just this vastness of consciousness that we're all part of. So we hear it repeated so often, we are one. Nobody really digs into what that means. You know, what does that really mean? Does it mean we're all connected? Yes, of course, but at what level are we all connected? So let's just slow this exercise down and open it up a bit, make it a little bit longer, look over the shoulders. So what we're talking about here is at some level beyond the projection, beyond the show that we create is your true self, the real expression of you. And it's masked by all these things. It's masked by the physicality. It's masked by the projections that we put out there of who we claim to be, who we think we are. But these are just constructions made by consciousness. And so the understanding of Hunyuan theory is that the entire universe is made of chi. And that consciousness acts upon this chi and makes it form into, well, everything that we see around us and everything that we believe to be us. And consciousness is the ground that holds everything together. But at a deep level, it's just consciousness making Jeremy, consciousness making you, your families, consciousness making what's going on in your body. And so this is why we can bring about extraordinary healings for ourselves, is by changing the way our consciousness interacts with our chi. That's what we're doing here today. It's bringing ourselves back to our consciousness. And sometimes the idea of loss of self seems terrifying. Well, it does seem terrifying because we've been told all of our lives that we have to be somebody, make something of ourselves. Wow. Quite literally, we are making something of ourselves. We're just making the wrong something of ourselves so often. And so the loss this idea of depersonalization, loss of self, becomes really scary for some people. Some people become terrified by the idea that they might dissolve, that they might lose who they are. Well, on a strange level, you never lose the 3D structure that you've created. That will always go on to interact in the world until, you know, it's, bodily time is up. So you never lose that. But this depersonalization, where you're able just to move away from the front line and take a bigger sort of view of what's going on from a consciousness perspective, is enlightenment. That's what it's all about. And so maybe you don't care for enlightenment, perhaps you're not interested, and that's fine. But you can also understand the idea that if you detach yourself from this uh, drama that you're playing out, that in fact, what you can do is heal the body much more easily from a consciousness perspective. So this idea of drawing ourselves back, I think it's very much in stages. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Bit by bit, you can gently withdraw yourself from this 3D drama and allow yourself to heal the drama and change the drama and do things from a consciousness perspective. And if you wish to go further, then there's no other tool except silence and stillness. Just being in that very quiet, still space, that's where you can find this true experience of true self. Okay, let's let everything drift to a stop. Let's gather some chi. Hands in the earth, lift up. Move the chi through the body. So all of the chi structures in your body are created by your consciousness. So don't forget that you can always change the chi structures of your body. 
just by changing the consciousness, by thinking about your body in a different way. So Dr. Pang has these three phrases. Wu, wu, bu, hua. Wu, hu, bu, hua. So wu, hu, bu, hua translates as there is nothing that cannot be transformed. Wu, wu, bu, shen. There is nothing that you cannot bring about. I think that's lovely. Nothing you cannot bring about. Wu, wu, bu, sui. There is nothing that cannot be broken down. Let's just do some simple forward bends. Drift your way down, soft knees. Allow your back to settle and relax. Nice and easy. Back of the neck, soft and relaxed. Drift gently towards your toes. And release. Drift towards the root of your toes. And release. Work towards your insteps. And release. Work towards your heels. Body relaxes, body releases, body hangs. Tailbone lifts behind. Tailbone pushes to the front. Spine gently rolls up. Head, arms and ears follow. Draw slowly to a nice stretch. Knees and hips go forward as you lean back. Stretching up, gently back. Up and back. And gently back. Just added these new side bends in. Let one hand gently down in an arc to touch the back of your knee and bend sideways. And then switch the hands over. One hand goes down, one hand comes up. Gently bend sideways. Swap in the hands each time. little side bend, a little bit of a back bend and a side bend combined really. Very beneficial for the lower back. It's like the hands of a clock. Well, I suppose not when they move backwards. <laughs> okay, so bring your uh, one hand back up into the air. Right, we'll begin the process again. Tip over head, arms and ears. Gently roll into the upper back, middle back and lower back. Let the hands relax down towards the feet. Back of the neck relaxes. Tummy tucks. Gently drift towards the toes. And release. Roots of the toes. And release. Towards your insteps. And release. And then back towards the heels. Relax, release, body hangs. Tailbone lifts up behind. Tailbone pushes forward. Spine starts to roll up. Gently gathering upwards. Drawing up to full height. Knees and hips forward as you lean back. Stretching up and gently back. Up and back. Up and back. Side bends, low one hand down. Swap hands over. Just 
gently changing side to side. And then bring the other hand back up into the air above. Okay, so let's run through straight legs now. So lock the legs straight, tip over head, arms and ears. Roll the way down. Just keeping the legs as straight as you can. Settle the back down. Tuck the tummy in. Relax and hang. Stand towards the toes. Release the roots of our toes. Release. In steps. Release. And heels. Relax and release. Let the body gently hang there for a moment. Tailbone lifts behind, tailbone pushes to the front, spine rolls up, head, arms and ears follow up. Up to full height with a good long stretch. Leaning back, hips forward and up. Two. And up. Three. And up, and four, and up. So seeing your left hand down the side, in a big wide arc towards the back of your knee. And the left hand comes up, right hand goes down. Right hand up. Down. Bend sideways. Exchange the hands again. And then draw the right hand up in the air. And we continue again. Last time round, straight legs. Tip over head, arms, and knees. Rolling into the upper back. Middle back and lower back. Body relaxes and hangs. Stand gently towards the toes. Release the roots of the toes. And release. In steps. And release. And then heels. Body relaxes and hangs. Tailbone lifts behind. Tailbone pushes to the front. Spine rolls up. Up to full height stretch. Knees and hips move forward as you lean back. Up and back. Up. And back. Up. Back. Allow the hands to drift down. One hand comes down to the back of your knees, side bend. And up, swap the hands over. And then bring your lower hand back up, right? Allow the chi to gather over the crown of the head for a moment or two. Chi pouring down, bring the hands down. <laughs> Let's gather chi, hands in the earth, lift chi up. Pour the chi down through the body. Remove the chi deep into the belly. Relax. 
just gather a few times. Gather the hands to the belly when you're finished. So if you need to keep pulling down, do so. Mind deep inside the belly. When the mind drifts away, we draw it back with a simple breath, concentrating on the tip of the nose, gently breathing chi in along the length of the nose, as if it could continue straight at the center of your brain. Gently breathing out and imagining the chi moving down through the dentures into your belly. So when you lose your mind, just draw it back in with the breath. And settle it deep into the belly. And breathe and lower down to you. Breathe with lower down to you. You can step on chi to bring our feet back into the shenanigans posture. Allow the hands to release down to the sides. Body relaxes and mind expands. to feel your connection through the kidney point on the sole of your foot. Yong Kwan, the bubbling wellspring of life. Qi gently entering the body, bubbling up through the soles of the feet, ascending gently up your legs to lower down to you. So the exact passage it's from the center of the foot. Hmm. It's not the center of the foot, it's just slightly forward of the center of the foot, if we're being completely precise. Through the middle of the foot, through the middle of your ankle. We imagine a line running up through the middle of the calves, through the center of your knees, through the center of your thigh, the center of the thigh bones, all around to Hui Yin between your legs. And then gathering from Hoi Yin up into Lower Dan Tian. So these two beautiful channels drawing Qi into your body. And the palms of the hands, Lao Gong, wide open. Qi gathering in through Lao Gong coming up through the center of your wrist, through the center of your forearm, center of your elbow, center of your upper arm, to the tip of your shoulder, and then to the top of your shoulder. So there's a point that lies geographically halfway between the center of your spine and the tip of your shoulder. So if you imagine kind of measuring along the top of your shoulder heading towards the tip, Halfway there, you find there's a little hollow. Jianjing. Jianjing is called the shoulder well. This is where qi gathers. So this marvelous passage of qi from the center of the palms up the arms, 
all the way to the top of the shoulder, filling up the shoulder well. Then we imagine from the bottom of the shoulder well, deep inside your shoulders, the chi carries on down, I think joining in middle dantian. And then from middle dantian down into lower dantian. So these four passageways, these four you know, channels, drawing chi through the sole of the feet up the center of the legs, way into the belly. Drawing chi from the hands up to the shoulder well, and the shoulder wells joining in middle dantian, pouring down into lower dantian. Whole body gathering chi. Your mind stays in lower dantian, and therefore chi is attracted to lower dantian. If you lose your mind, you take a gentle breath in through your nose. And then you draw the chi back down to the dantians and to the belly. And the fifth channel, by way on top of the head, the crown of the head, wide open, gathering chi from the heavens above. Chi pouring down through by way, filling up a dantian. An abundance of chi in the center of your brain. Chi pouring down into middle dantian. Meeting the torrent of chi that's coming through from Lao Gong. And then pouring down into lower dantian. So the center line channel really fundamental. We can draw a line from Hoi Yin between the legs to Bai Hui on top of the head. You often hear people say, gently lift Hoi Yin. And the idea there is we're just stopping any of this marvelous chi that's pouring down from Bai Hui, from sort of going out of the body as it were. So we gently lift Hoi Yin and it just attracts our attention to Hoi Yin for a moment. And that, unites this channel that comes up the legs, helps move the chi up into the belly, and helps us stop losing any chi downwards. So now just in this simple standing posture, we're gathering vast amounts of energy. The body is relaxed, the mind expands. Feel your skin. Can you feel the boundary between outside and inside now? Does it just feel like a general idea of where chi connects? Even the pores on your skin gently open and close, allowing chi to come in and out of the body. When we breathe in, Pause open. We breathe out. The pause gently close. So when we think about our skin, in this kind of dissolved state, it becomes difficult to feel the difference between you and the chi field around you. You start to realize that the boundary has become a little blurred. No longer as solid as you once were. Dissolving into chi just allows every aspect of the body to gently open. Think about your spine and your back for a moment. The back of your head, the back of your neck, the back of your shoulders, lower back, buttocks, back of your thighs. Back of your knees, back of the calves, Achilles. We don't tend to think about the back surface of our body very much. It's a yin surface. The front of our body is very yang, and that's where all the activity happens. The yin is very quiet and calm. But think about the possibility of gently opening the back of your body 
to dissolve into the chief field of allowing yourself to connect behind. One of the instructions that's often given is listen behind. Move your hearing so that you're listening into the space behind your body. It's a standard for martial arts training, the idea of becoming aware of the space behind you. And so we have the idea that we're looking forwards and we're listening backwards, and that we have this 360 degree understanding of our body. We don't want to lose too much attention outside the body, but it's just an interesting idea just to listen into the space behind, just to feel into the space behind, just to remember that we have a back of the body as well as the front of the body. Just feeling the skin on the back of the arms. Just feeling the skin that covers the whole of the back surface of the body. All part of the process too. Now feel into the chi field around you. Can you feel your own chi field? Allow this space around you is to become a little bit more dense. So we have this rough idea of where our skin seems to be. But of course, the skin is open and allowing chi to flow easily. So now try and feel into the space around you. Feel your own chi flow. So imagine maybe half a meter or a meter above your head. A meter in front of your body, but of course behind as well. If you move your hands out to the side of the body, the chi field expands outwards. If you were to bring your hands up to shoulder height, your chi field would extend a meter beyond your fingertips out to the sides, but above, and below as well. Imagine this chi field expands a meter into the earth, a meter into the blue sky above. So now we have this lovely personal chi field around us. The way chi layer on your skin protects, it's like the last line or the first line of defense, whichever way you look. I've actually felt things almost burn up when they touch things I don't know quite what. Can't really explain to you how the way chi layer feels. But I've experienced things like a, a fly running into one of those zappers that you see in butcher's shops. Kind of a bzz to me. So think, gosh, what was that feeling? My skin. And it feels like the way chi layer has protected you, protected you from picking up viruses on your hands, protected you from airborne bacteria, whatever it might be. So we have the Wei Chi layer, which is right around the skin protecting us. But now we're talking about a field even bigger than that, a meter around the body in every direction. And again, this is your personal Oh dear, I want to say hazmat suit. That sounds very kind of like dramatic, isn't it? But it's your personal kind of like a diving suit. And you can be inside your beautiful field of energy, protected, but also deeply connected as well. This field connects you out into nature. This field connects you out into the wider chi world. And so very often we experience, if perhaps you're standing in a crowded space and somebody comes, stands just a bit too close behind you, you instantly know it because they've stepped, or perhaps they've stepped their chi into your chi field. And you look back and think, oh, hello. 
There's this kind of sixth sense we feel. We know when someone's got a bit too close to us, we look around. We don't even really know why. We don't really know what's kind of tipped us off, but it's actually our chi field interacting with somebody else's chi field. And this protective energetic idea that perhaps your energy has been well, not affected, but just connected with something else. So we feel this larger personal chi field. And then allow yourself to expand beyond that. Let's move further. So now we experience the idea of no time, no space. I can connect with you guys. You're all over the UK. But we can feel this connection as a class when we start. We can feel the influence we have on each other. We can feel the support that we give to each other. Some days you arrive in class and you're just feeling a bit kind of there, you know, not quite there, not quite ready for it. And after you know, 10, 15 minutes, you might just notice that you've sort of started to pick up and oh, I'm feeling a bit better or feeling a bit calmer or feeling a bit more stable, whatever it is. And that's because your body's allowing yourself to connect into the wider chi field. So we don't have to be in the same room to do this. Because no time, no space, we can connect so easily with each other at any time. You can connect to my chi field. We can connect into the wider chi field. So as a class, we can connect together. But then our little pod connects into the wider Shenang Qigong chi field. So how does a chi field work? Oh, it's a big story, but just imagine it almost like tuning your radio in 95.8, Zheneng Qigong FM, by tuning yourself into the signal, connecting yourself into this wider idea of Zheneng Qigong. In that field, it's Dr. Pang. The ideas that he's been putting into this field for 40 or 50 years. The healing techniques that he's been putting into this field. The good information that he's been putting into this field. But not only him, thousands of teachers over the years have learned and have put their healing ideas into the field. Thousands upon, well, millions upon millions students who have healed themselves have put this great information into the field. So now you connect into the field. And you're able to access that information. Someone somewhere has exactly the right information for you. You don't need to search it out. It just comes to you. Someone somewhere will have the information to heal your body. This vast library of healing intentions and ideas, which you can access. So this is the change of consciousness that I'm talking about. Change your consciousness, change your life. There is nothing that cannot be transformed. There is nothing that cannot be brought about. There's nothing that cannot be broken down. So take up a comfortable standing stance if you haven't already. Shoulder width with a ball of chi in front of your belly. Keep the body relaxed. Hopefully you've just 
stepped into a simple standing stance. The standing stance can be very prescriptive. I was taught the 18 points of a good standing stance. But the only point of a good standing stance is something you feel comfortable in, something you can sustain. So just step into a natural stance, let your body relax. Hold a ball of chi on your tummy if you want, or in front of your tummy. Perhaps it's in front of the middle dantian. Wherever it is, no right, no wrong today. Chi flowing up from Yong Kwan on the sole of the foot through the center of the leg. Hui Yin gathering deep in your belly. Chi flowing in through Lao Kung on your palms, up the center of your arms, up to the shoulder well, Jing Mai. Down to middle Dantian, down into the belly. Chi flowing from the heavens down through Bai Hui, deep into the center of Upper Dantian, and then Middle Dantian, and joining with this flow of energy from the arms deep down into Lower Dantian. Lower Dantian Chi abundant. Blood and Chi flowing well through your body. This simple standing stance. With the knees a little bit bent, chi flows well in the legs. Holding a ball of chi, chi flows well in the body and the arms. This long spine with the tailbone gently sinking and the top of the head gently lifting, chi flows well in the spine, the back, and down through the dantians. So you've adopted the perfect position for total healing of the body. Everything flowing well, everything soft, open, and relaxed. Blood and chi becoming abundant in the body. Blood and chi flowing well. So now let us bring our attention to what it is you specifically wish to work with. It might be your entire life. You might want to wish to change everything. Have some change. <laughs> Get something to move if you feel blocked. It might be very specific. A joint or an organ. We're going to do La Chi to make that happen. We're going to gently move La Chi. Open the hands and feel the problems dissolve. Letting go at the deepest level. When we bring the hands slowly back together again, feel this chi between your palms. It's the simplest exercise on earth, yet the most effective. The opening of the hands induces our consciousness to dissolve all of the problems we were holding on to. And the hands gently come back together. Symbolizes reforming, rebuilding, fixing everything good. When you open, how far do you open? Is it just your hands or can you let the whole body start to dissolve? When you draw back, where do you draw back from? Let's try and start thinking on a slightly more universal level. When you open, imagine the whole of the body, all of the patterns, dissolve out into the chi space around you. When you come back, use the visualization of the body rebuilding. But of course, we'd never rebuild it with the old problems. We build it new. 
chi helps us dissolve from the center of the body, out through the skin, out into the chi field, out into the wider chi field, out into the universe. And then from the corners of the universe, her helps us to draw amazing chi from the corners of the universe back deep inside our body. wide open from the root level of you. We draw the chi back from the universe to gather it deep into lower that chi. Feeling all this chi gathering in the body, this healing chi, filling the body. Drawing the mind deep inside the body, seeing everything fixed and working perfectly. She goes deep inside, penetrating every cell structure, penetrating deep at the DNA level, going deep at the atomic level and deeper. Open, open, open. Oh. 
chi flows deep inside the body, healing at the deepest level. Just a couple more. Then. Next two can be a little bit more quiet. Just move the hands and stay silent. Two more. Eventually, let the hands just gently gather back to hold a small ball in front of lower dantia. Gathering chi from Lao Gong in the center of your palms, up your arms to Jing Wan, deep down into the body. Drawing chi from Yong Kwan up your legs, drawing up to Hoi Yin and up into the belly. Drawing chi down from Bai Hui in the heavens above, down into the middle dantian, down into the all of this chi gathering deep in lower dantian. Envisage lower dantian, glowing light deep inside your belly. Allow it to gently expand, slowly getting bigger to fill the whole of your belly. Imagine this beautiful light pushes toward the back, towards Ming Men, towards your spine. This ball of energy pushes forwards towards your belly button, pushes downwards towards Hui Yin, pushes upwards towards middle Dantian. So this vast ball of energy now, filling the whole of the lower cavity of your body. Let it expand upwards, up above the diaphragm. Enveloping your heart and your lungs, enveloping your liver and spleen, your kidneys. Now the whole of your spine is lit from deep inside. 
Allow this chi to expand onwards up into your head. Allow the whole of your head to fill with chi. From lower dantian, we can extend down the legs as well. Move the energy downwards into your thighs. Illuminate inside your knees and calves. Illuminate inside your ankles and feet. From the feet, drawing chi up to the belly. And then we can work on the arms as well. So from the core of the body, expand chi into your shoulders. Expand chi to your upper arms. Down into your elbows. Down all the way to your hands, to your fingertips. Think of your body now. Is there any part of the body that is yet to be bathed in this chi from lower dantian? Think of the back surface of your body. We so often forget the back surface. Make sure that it's totally illuminated in chi. The front surfaces. All of the skin, inside the head, feel into the sensory organs, to your brain, feel into your teeth, mouth, tongue, throat, feel into your neck and chest. Whole of the body dissolved into chi. Whole of the body filled with chi. Now expand from lower dantian out into the chi field around you. So feel that the lower dantian can expand into this one meter chi field you have behind you, below you, above you, to the sides, to the front, the six directions. If you were to move your arms out, the chi field would just expand to accommodate that. You could feel your whole body constantly surrounded by this amazing, flexible, beautiful chi field protecting you and connecting you. Expand beyond. So lower down tian, out through the chi fields, out into the nature around you. out into your community, out into the city and then countryside beyond, out into the county, out into, well, the whole of your country. But expand beyond that, feel Europe. And then the other continents, feel our beautiful blue planet. Feel our solar system. Beyond that, out into our universe. The vastness of you, no time, no space. You are total consciousness. You have always been the consciousness of the universe. You've just been distilled into this little story. So the consciousness of the universe might just test itself out, learn more, expand, experience more. So feel yourself as true universality. No longer just this physical body. Now the entirety of our universe. Let's gently draw ourselves back and experience a milky way in our solar system. And then we gently start to imagine traveling back towards our beautiful blue planet. When you have it in your mind's eye, pause for a moment. Let's send some chi back to heal our planet. You don't have to be very prescriptive. You don't have to think of any particular area. 
you can just imagine bathing our beautiful blue planet in healing energy, attracting the chi that's needed so much at this moment to bring about change. To bring us back into equilibrium. Things feel unbalanced. They never are. Everything is always shifting and changing. And everything is exactly as it should be right now. So when you feel things are overwhelming, when you feel helpless, just realize that you've created this game to play in. And you are consciousness playing the world game. That everything is right. Everything is good. Everything is exactly as it should be. And that everything will be well. It always is. So now we start to gently draw ourselves back in search of our country, county, city, town, house, and then body. And gently draw yourself back into your chi field and feel the enormity of this chi through your body. Feel the incredible energy in your body. Just know that you are God encapsulated deep inside this chi body. That we are all deeply connected. We are all one in this universal mind. And if that's the case, you can heal anything just in a moment. Just in the blink of an eye, you can change anything you wish. So set that change in motion now. Bring about the healing you wish to bring about. Draw yourself deep back into your body. Feel every cell in your body open and receptive to new healing information, DNA open and receptive to new healing information. Old stories are gone, old stories out, bringing in the new you, healing at every level of you, healing your stories, healing your patterns, creates a quantum collapse, changing the reality in your body the physicality of your body. Bring about the change you wish to see now. And just know that you've already set it in motion. This body is already healing itself. You can sit back and watch. So oh, gently draw your hands back towards your belly. When we put the hands on the belly, it helps us to really center ourselves back in. When we've been out so far and dissolved so much, it's good just to bring yourself back to the tummy, bring yourself back to lower dantian, locate yourself in lower dantian, and then start to rebuild the physicality of yourself. Feel your way back into your body. And so if you wish to sort of gently move some of the body, you know, roll the shoulders, stretch the legs, and move the fingers and toes. It's good to just sort of bring yourself back into this body, rehabit it, as it were. And then with the hands on the belly, we can just draw a few circles around lower down tien. So let's just circle gently around lower down tien. And again, this has got the purpose of bringing us deep back into the core of ourselves, holding the chi inside, gathering all of this energy and keeping it firmly stored here. And then we go the other way, and that just tells the body, oh, time to reset. Bring yourself back into 3D mode. Bring yourself back into daily mode. As we stand here, we can think of our Wei Chi layer around us, though, that keeps us protected, and our Chi field that connects and protects. You put a big smile on your face. Just know that you've set in motion complete and utter healing for your body. 
Everything is working well. Everything is fixing itself right now. And we know that, you know, sometimes it's taken us 20, 30 years to build up a problem. And so it takes a little bit longer, not longer than 20 or 30 years, <laughs> it takes a little bit longer than instant change. And sometimes, you know, it just takes a few weeks, a few months, just be patient, hang in there, because change it will. Everything changes. So you've set the healing in motion. Now it's working. Let the hands gently down by the sides, so you open the eyes. Again, move fingers, toes, shift and stretch anything you want to stretch. And if you'd be kind enough to unmute yourselves, we'll all say haula together. Haula means good already. So, hands up in the air. One, two, ha, la, la. One, two, ha, la, la. One more time. One, two, ha, la, la. So often you see um, uh, that people use this gesture where they put their hands together and they bow. This is a Buddhist gesture, just if you didn't know. And then in China, hands like this. Um, how do they do the hands in Taoism? I think they, oh yeah, in Taoism, they hold their hands like this. And so you'll often sort of see Taoists, and they kind of hold their hands together. But in Jinan Qigong, we draw the fingers together. It's called entirety hands. So you lay one set of fingers on top of the other, you draw them together and let the thumbs go over the top. So this is entirety hands. So for Jinan Qigong, we do this. <laughs> Thanks very much, everybody. Good to see you all. Thank you, Derek. And, uh, yeah, pleasure. And uh, yes, hopefully see some of you tomorrow for Lift You Up, Port You Down, 9.30. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Jeremy. Bye, everyone. Bye.